Hello and welcome back. My name is Vishta and today we are playing Battlefleet Gothic Armada with the Elders. Alright, we have lost one battle and we kind of won one battle. Um, yeah. it Things are going rough for us right now. Um, I'm still trying to learn how to play the Elders, so... Things are gonna go rough for us for a while, I feel. But, anyways, let's go into battle. Um, hopefully we can win this one. I'm not entirely certain if we can. Oh, uh, we're doing a new another cruiser clash, <laughs> and we're fighting the orcs. Oh, goody. Um. If you're wondering what I upgraded, I upgraded the ship to have a larger detection range. Because I figured, yeah, detection range sounds nice. And then I'm gonna go with two carriers in this fight. Because as we saw in the last fight, the um the escorts died really really quickly and i'm kind of just hoping of course we we chose the wrong direction all right well we can do this wait what oh wait that's why I was like, wait, why are we going so slow? No, I was just being foolish. That's all. Moving to that location. Alrighty. We're gonna try and hit this guy. Since he's alone. It seems like the best idea. It also appears that the courser is like super fast movement thing basically it's full ahead does not trigger identifying the ships so th there is no reason not to be using this nearly constantly so yes basically we'll be bombing the enemy as much as possible while trying to do minimal alright so the moment where we spot it's a cruiser that's not great for us but we should be okay um, it's the ramming one. It doesn't really have anything special about it, but the ship will be trying to ram us. And we lost... Are you serious? Oh my gosh. The fact that we lose... ...things this easily is kind of ridiculous. I really don't care that he's trying to ram us because he can't even... Yes, come on. He barely reaches our speed when trying to ram. But it is ridiculous how easy we can lose our generator, which is the most important thing in for us. As you wish. Without the generator, we're pretty much dead. All right, we need to get out of here. Returning infinity circuit to rest. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. We he obey. should still be charging his warp. Full speed. And we're gonna just jump off. Is 
don't think he's going to be able to ram us. Actually, he very well might be able to. Uh, no. Looks like he cannot. We are going to begin our repair. And we want this guy farther away. And yeah, this is basically what the elders have to do. I feel for the first like few fights, I feel like we're gonna be doing this the running away ready. thing, hitting them like once or twice, and being like, "Well, we did some damage." The elder stand ready. Which this kind of sucks. To be completely Returning honest, I was really hoping the elders would be. Kind of cooler in yes, come on, no, how they were going to be controlled. Just because their ships are so fast, it is very difficult to control these ships. Like, I feel like it, they could have done so many more interesting things with this instead of. At your service. Well, if their generator dies, they're just screwed. Pretty much. Because this ship has no shield. Basically, the only reason why this ship is, hasn't died yet is because the orcs can't hit ranged objects easily. And I'm lucky for that. We did get orcs here. Although now we have to turn around, and I don't want to do that. But we're going to have to, so we can... Infinity circuits active. Bot them. And I don't know where this guy is either. We ride the solar winds. Battle or awareness is almost the most important At thing in this. And we won't be able to get a fix. Well, we won't be able to fix a sensor onto a ship. We have found the enemy. Probably. Of did a boarding action. Um, we might be able to do a boarding action with this escort ship. It's not the most optimal thing, but it's something at least. This ship's taking more of a pounding because it's again in the back. Until the end. Moving to that location. Setting sail. Setting sail. We ride the solar wind. Try and do as much freaking damage here as possible. The void is our now. Ooh. There is a huge risk of ramming into your own ships here, too. Which I'm sure, as you could guess, you really don't want to do that. We also can't lose our launch bays because that's one of the most important things of our ship. Oh, 
All right. Yes, Commander, we obey. Got out of dodge. Yes, Commander. Um, I do feel that the elders are gonna go through quite a bit of a change before release. Until the end. Especially probably early As game. You wish. Because right now it's I think it would be doable on normal difficulty with a lot of practice. Yeah, if the savage gunship hits us, it's super painful because that does 48 damage. And all it has to do is hit for this ship. Ah, uh, it took heavy damage. We did get a repair in. Yes, Commander, we obey. All right, we're gonna try and. Distract. The void is our home now. With this ship. Brace for impact. Hopefully that will work. It looks like it is going to work. Actually sure what's gonna happen if I run out of time in the bottom left. Moving to that location. That might be interesting to find out. Infinity circuits active. This is bad, this is bad. destroyed that's really bad for us oh we can even with our engine oh wait we just lost our launch base for this ship and that means it's probably GG for us Again, because these ships are just so fragile, we can't really take any damage without being like, well, we took damage, Moving now we're just screwed. Yes, come on. As you wish. Basically, I have to get lucky and destroy As this light cruiser. Wish without the ability to use one of yes, the launch bays. The Eldar stand ready. Move at full speed. Until the end. 
until the end. Infinity circuits active. Hmm. All right. Infinity circuits active. We're gonna set you to the most important. Swiftly. We only have three guns on the ship, so we won't do a lot of damage. This ship actually has more guns, but we can't really send it into combat because of the fact that it's taken the heavy damage. Infinity circuits active. Swiftly. The void. Could be bad. It's really depending on now. if we can destroy a torpedo. Okay, we it missed us. At the very least. Until the end. Um, I'm terribly sorry if this is boring to you guys. Setting sail. Um Personally, I don't really As you wish. enjoy this kind of combat. Um, it feels very... The void is our home now. I don't know. It feels like it would be a great concept Infinity if it had better mechanics. But currently, the way sometimes if you service. try and select a ship, it just doesn't want to select. It's very annoying to try and Infinity play. And I'm sure that's just because it's in beta and whatnot. But I am really just running one side of the map to the other, being like, oh, I better get out of here. This isn't a safe place. I better just leave the area. We ride the solo winds. At your service. Infinity circuits active. Yes, Commander. Brace for incoming fire. Until the end. Hmm. We ride the solar winds. Yeah, we're kind of just waiting for one of these ships just to take enough damage to where they'll run away. This might be a ram. Yeah, no. Yes, Commander, we obey. I mean, Infinity circuits in all honesty, the bomber, it doesn't seem to do that much damage. Maybe it's just because it's yes, one Commander. squad, and it actually does a ridiculous amount of damage. Because it is just one squad. But I mean, I'm struggling to just take out one sh light cruiser here. Moving to that location. Yes, Commander, we obey. I also don't know why the range indicator is not turning on for this sh ship. It turns on for this one, even though it's not alive anymore. Which makes zero sense, but... Alright, we're gonna... Moving to that location. Converge... Back over here. Setting 
Alright, this ship might actually do a lot of damage to us if they manage to get a bead on us. Again, I feel like we might be okay if we had a cruiser versus their cruiser, but currently it's just, well, you don't have the necessary ships to even try and fight the enemy. be a bit risky here with our swiftly oh we're gonna take a brunt of those torpedoes it looks like yeah we took the back one Well, we've almost destroyed this light cruiser. We're gonna run out of time though before we do destroy it, I feel. Until the end. And it'll be interesting to see who wins Setting a stalemate. Sail. Or if there is just no winner. Alright, so there yes, is rain. On, I just don't know why the game's not showing me. Who I can attack and who I can't attack with that ability. Um, we might take a hit there. I hope we don't, but we very well might. Now, what the stalemate conditions could be for the win and loss is, is it could be a health percentage That's um if it's a health percentage then we most definitely lost we ride the solar winds well actually maybe not because they have about 2,000 health Moving combined i'm gonna assume we had 800 health combined no, I think even then we'd still take the. We'd still be well below. The Elder stand ready. Really, what we have to hope for is that this ship um, goes insubordinate. Ho ho! Yes, Commander, we obey! Alright. That was really lucky for us. Although this has just been us flying around a map. Basically doing nothing. As you wish. Until the end. Um, I really hope that not every fight is like this. Because if it is... This series most likely will still go on, but might not be as long as the Orc. Because at least with the Orc series, it was interesting. Like, there was an actual fighting... Well, there was actual fighting going on. Whereas this, it's just... Well, we're running away from the enemy. 
and that ship's gonna take a lot of damage. Please don't hit that. Oh, that was really close. Until the end. This shot ship might actually take heavy damage. Moving to that location. Yes, Commander. Oh, and that was a video. How oh, nice. Is our home now. Uh, no, there is no I way we can it. destroy this ship without a good 45 That's more minutes service. of just pecking away at it. Infinity circuits active. Although we have 12 more Steady seconds sail. left on the clock. You even, you haven't even pretty much taken any damage. Nope, it considered this a defeat for us. I'm not sure why it considers it a defeat for us. Um, it very well might con have considered it a defeat for the other team also. But, I don't really know. But we did level up one of our ships. So, we have that at least. And we finally have a new cruiser. Alrighty, let's repair that because it's super cheap. And we have the Shadow. Um, torpedo launcher and a bunch of shurikens. 600 hull durability, a little slower. A lot of turrets. We've... yeah, we need it. I mean, we aren't doing very good with just light cruisers at the moment. Um, the ship affects a 180 turn. I think I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to go with the Dark Star Squadron for it also. Just so we can get a fighter squadron for basically free. But anyways, my name's been Bashaw. This has been Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Um, terribly sorry for the long episode with relatively nothing done. That was legitimately just us flying back and forth on a map doing tiny amounts of damage to the enemy. Hopefully, it won't continue like that, but we will see. But anyways, my name is Star, and hope you guys have a wonderful day.